<laughs> Yay! <laughs> this has been about a week, y'all. Uh, it seems like it's been forever since we've been online here with a video, but we're back and uh, we're going to hit it hardcore today. We are going to do a low country boil. And uh, what would you say a low country boil is for people in the deep south? A frogmore stew is what they call it in South Carolina. Uh, okay, it's a low country boil, y'all. It's for people along the coastlines that can get, you know, uh, get their hands on this sort of food. It's cheap, it's quick, it's easy, it's good stuff. Um, what we have here is some kielbasa. We have onion. We've got two large onions here quartered. We've got uh, new potatoes or red potatoes. What are these potatoes? Red potatoes. They're red potatoes. I don't know how many we have here. How many would you say, honey? Mm, I don't know. A bag. Not a three-pound bag. Yeah, a three-pound bag. Maybe three pounds. I've got, um, and these are quartered. We've got, you can use them whole if you want to. If they're small enough. If they're small, you can cut them in half, whatever. Um, so we've got some lemon. Uh, got some mud bugs here we got out of the backyard. Yep, they're like miniature lobsters. They're crawdads, crawfish, crayfish, whatever you want to call them. We got how many pounds of shrimp is a this? Pound and a half. Pound and a half. Right out of the Gulf. It probably has a ton of corexit all in it. We're going to eat it. It only lives once. And uh, well, as long as it's not radioactive, we're good. Here's the radioactive stuff. We got some crawl or uh, I'm sorry, some crab legs over here. And I don't know. I don't eat the crab legs. How many crab legs are it's in two there? Two pounds. Two pounds of crab legs. All of our fresh seafood was from Publix. We would do it locally if we had, you know, local seafood vendors, but we don't. We got to stop at shop at the chain. And um, we've got some Old Bay, which I don't know if we're going to use the Old Bay or not. But we do have, you know, my favorite uh, McCormick's shrimp and crab boil. So we'll throw that in. And with the low country boil, the staple is you got to have corn. I'm sure this is uh, GMO. So no corn these days is non-GMO. So you got to eat this sparingly these days. But here are the staples for the essential staples for low country boil are corn on the cob. You got to have, I'll say, Old Bay seasoning here. You got to have the sausage you got to have the potatoes you got to have the shrimp and you got to have the crab okay some folks are going to say you're going to have to have crawfish the crawdads and some folks you know don't put onions or lemon in theirs but um i'm going to say that everything here is essential okay everything so we'll go ahead and get this set up here in a second and start adding this, and I'll give you the times that you add it, and uh, we'll have a low country boil today. Get ready, guys. Grab yourself a beer, sit back, relax, and let's get on with this. All right, y'all. These are the implements we'll be using today. This is a seven-gallon turkey fryer, whatever kind of pot you want to use it for. I've got about four gallons of water in here, and we have our strainer gonna use this so put this in at a later date we're gonna go ahead and take this outside and get this water boil. all right y'all it is a fabulous afternoon as you can see beautiful I mean there's not a cloud in the sky all right y'all I think our water is boiling we'll go ahead and check this out good to go we're gonna go ahead and add our basket our basket has some legs on it so we're good with that we'll go ahead and sink this down in there awesome and we'll go ahead and add our shrimp and crab boil there's these are two packets that's what they look like so we'll go ahead and put both of these in there and let that boil away and we'll go ahead and put our three tablespoons of salt in there all right now we got our lemons we'll go ahead and put our lemons in there and our onions yay 
smells good already, y'all. Potatoes are going in now. Oh, we want to get them in our basket. And these will, we're going to cook these for 10 minutes, y'all. Before we add our next uh, ingredient to the boil. There we go. So we'll let that boil away for 10 minutes. That 10 minutes is just enough time to get one of these in your system. So we're going to go ahead and add our corn. There we go. See it cooking in there, y'all? We're going to add our corn. We're going to drop this right in our basket here. And this is really good around uh, harvest time when the corn is ready to be harvested because you can use fresh corn. That's the perfect time. All right, there's our corn. And we'll go ahead and put our kielbasa in. Man, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells fantastic. All right, crab legs. We don't have to put them directly in our pot. We can put them around the edges here to stabilize the basket. Or you can put them directly in your pot. Yay! Look at that, y'all. We're good to go. Now we're gonna leave this for 10 minutes, we'll cover it back up, and we'll be back to put in our shrimp and those crawdads. 10 minutes. And the last thing that we'll put in here is our shrimp and our crawfish. All right. We'll go ahead and just drop these in there. And these are gonna cook for five minutes. And while I'm dropping these in, I want to give a couple shout outs, a few of them, to uh, George World Tour. He just did a great video on Lada Latte, Krispy Kreme Donuts that look fantastic. What's up, Joy? Man, thank you for everything. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Ian Kiner, my man over at Peep This Out. He just did a uh, video on the Double uh, X nachos from Taco Bell which look fantastic Ian peep this out my brother you can do this at your place too my man uh, I want to give a shout out to Jason Cowan he just did a video on some pickles that he pickled earlier this summer or last summer that would go good with this fantastic with this and of course my man Brian underscore reviews now, he just did a video on, get all these little mud bugs in here. He just did a video on um, Joe's Crab Shack, which I thought was fantastic, man. Thank you for that video. And uh, Brian underscore views, check him out. We'll let these sit in here for five minutes. I'll go ahead and cover this up now. And we will be done with our low country boil. All right, y'all, ordinarily, what you would do with this is I would lay out some newspaper or some paper bags on this table and spread this out, but we're not going to do that this time. I'm just going to pick it out of here like this and let it drain a little bit. And I'll set this over on our table. Let it drain just a little bit more. You can see our shrimp are done. Everything's done in here. It's perfect. We'll just sit it here and let it drain a little bit more. We'll take this inside and we'll divvy it up and we'll go ahead and start eating this. All right, y'all. There are the crab legs. And uh, we're going to go ahead and dump it out into our bowl here. There's the shrimp and the sausage. The Oh, oh. That one's for Walter. That bowl's not big enough for that, baby. That's all I have right now. There you go. That's just a taste. Get some shrimp in there. There's shrimp left. There's tons of shrimp. Oh, man. Look at that, y'all. If you could smell this, you would say, you know what, Joe? Crab Shack? Whatever, bro. It's so expensive to go there, y'all. 
It's so much easier to do this and cheaper to do this at home than it is to uh, do Joe's Crab Shack. Is it not, babe? You like right. Joe's Crab Shack. I'm I not like a, Joe's, but this is good. I'm not huge a huge crustacean fan. Are those potatoes done? Yes. All right, y'all. I'm going to dip in before the kids get in here. I'm going to grab a shrimp. One of these shrimps. They're still hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. How do you... Potato? Oh, yeah. How do you like the um, McCormick's crab boil? It's good. I like it. I like it a little bit stronger, but I think the kids will like it because it's not spicy. All right, y'all. That is it. There's the corn. Mm -hmm. Shrimp. I mean, all of it, y'all. The kielbasa. And that's what everybody likes, the crab legs. I'm not a huge crustacean fan. And the mud bugs are in there somewhere. There it is. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed our Low Country Boil video. If you have any questions, let me know. Remember, I put all the uh, ingredients and the uh, times and everything down right down there in the uh, video description if you want the recipe to do this. So, any, you want to add anything to this before I sign off? Yummy. <laughs> all right, y'all. Listen, we'll see you again real soon. We've had a week or so layoff, but we'll be back strong this week. All right. Take care, everybody.